Greetings friends, uh, this episode is going to be a little different, last episode was a little serious so I'm going to change it up a little bit this time, uh, I'm actually going to do my first game room tour, uh, nothing fancy, I, I don't have a lot of stuff to be honest, I've been I've been only collecting again for about two months, a little backstory. I don't want to snore, I don't want to snooze you too much but uh, mm. I can still fall asleep, um, basically <clears throat> Uh, I used to collect and then I had to sell everything because financially it was things were getting a little um, a little tight for us uh, for the family so obviously I mean I can't buy these toys when you know money's involved so I, I had to sell it all and then now we're doing better again so uh, yeah so I, I started up again so it's only been about two months and I've, this is what I've collected so I, I've been trying to collect mostly newer like 360 PlayStation 3 uh, you know, I've got some, so I'll show you, I'll show you what I have, some, so a little bit of a retro stuff, but it's, I just can't collect everything, it's too expensive, as, as I'm sure you other collectors are watching this know, it's just too expensive to do, so, uh, I just kind of collect what I want to play in, in games that I really would like to get, or some games maybe sometimes try a new game, uh, every once in a while, anyways, so, uh, I'm going to start off right now, that's going to be a little tough here, because I've never really done it like this before, uh, so bear with me, <clears throat> so we'll start with PlayStation. Uh, this is all my PlayStation stuff here. So we've got got my PS4, PS3 box here, uh, the Lego Hobbit that came with the, that. That's actually not what I paid. I paid seventy bucks. You guys probably saw that in the uh, my my obviously my um, my uh, pickup videos. So yeah, nothing really crazy here. So I'm trying to start a collection of Resident Evil. Uh, just Resident Evil because it's one of my favorite series. You'll notice kind of a trend here. Um, Resident Evil stuff here. Uh, these are all my games. Nothing super fancy in here. I like that Splatterhouse though. I love Splatterhouse. Uh, and then I've got some my PS1. So PS3, so go basically goes PS4 all the way to PS1. I don't collect PS2 uh, because I have to pick <clears throat> one or the other. I can't, like I said, I can't collect for everything. So I have to pick and choose. Eventually I probably will, but for now I'm going just just these systems for now. Uh, yeah, because I love PS1. Honestly, I'm really glad I'm collecting for PS1. So, <clears throat> there we go. And you see the rest of my house. Uh, I've got this cool little thing for my son, actually. Like a bat cave. Uh, it's 40 bucks at Walmart. It was a good price. So, um, yeah. Kind of cool little thing. He loves this thing. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a hockey fan. Sense fan. Big, big sense fan. I a lot of sense stuff here. This is my workout bike. You know, I just work out so much. You know, I'm very, I'm very, it doesn't look like it in the videos, but I am extremely, extremely ripped. Uh, huge. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> so we'll start off with my Xbox stuff here now. So, this is my 360 stuff here. Um, again, not a ton of stuff. Some of the highlights, I'm going to put the camera down. Some of the highlights is I like uh, steel case stuff. So got that. There's, uh, Perfect dark. I'm gonna mess this up because I've got I've got one hand here. Let's just put that down. Um, Silent Hill. It's another good one. Dead Space. Love Dead Space. Too human. I actually like this game. I'm a lot of people didn't like it. I had fun with it. I finished it. So, anywho, so that's it there. My Assassin's Creed figurine that I got for a dollar at EB Games. It was a great find. My one and a half year old ripped it. So that's great. And then we go to my Xbox One stuff. I don't collect for Xbox Original right now because, like I said, I'm trying to only do a few, uh, trying not to collect for everything at the moment. So here's some highlights. Witcher, great game. The Definitive, um, Definitive Original Sin. Now I want to get the second one. I, I got the, I found the first one for a decent price. It was actually $26, you can see there. Uh, at EB Games, and it's actually apparently hard to find. I don't know if that's true or not. Who knows, but... Uh, apparently it is hard to find. Homefront, now I've actually never played it. Um, I haven't heard it wasn't very good. But I, the reason why I bought it was because, it's again, I love Steelcase. It's it's still wrapped. Uh, and it's, it was $5. I found it at Best Buy of all places for $5. You can't go wrong for $5. And then obviously Far Cry, and I've got my... you got your standards here, you know, your... You know, got Shadow War, Star Wars, Battlefront, Dying Light. Uh, my South Park... You know, I've got some some of my favorites in here basically I try to keep and then <clears throat> what I've done here is I've, I've just kind of left a shelf here for my favorite games of all time basically so um, Gears is one of my favorite games of all time I have Gears 
obviously Gears 1, Gears 2, I don't have Gears 3, I want to pick that up eventually, um, I got the collection edition for that, Gears 2, sorry, and obviously Gears 4, which I've, I still play to this day, and some figurines in the back there, and then my other favorite, probably my favorite series of all time is Mass Effect, I got the 360 trilogy, uh, I found that at, um, at Toys R Us for 5 bucks, little figurine there, Mass Effect 4. Yeah, I'll probably pick up the rest of the Mass Effect 4 eventually, but um, I got the I got that for ten dollars uh, at EB Games. Mass Effect uh, Monopoly, which I played with the kids, which was kind of fun. So, anyways, moving on. Up here, I just got some random stuff because I honestly I don't have a ton of space. Uh, another note is I'm moving, so eventually um, I'm gonna have a bigger space and I'm gonna have more shelves. I'm gonna have I'm gonna kind of have a whole setup. So probably in a few months from now, it's gonna look quite a bit different in my game room. So, anyways. This is my only 64 stuff. I just, I found it really cheap. Uh, I found it actually a 64 for free. So I picked up a few games for it. These are it so far. This actually got for free because I had special points with Lukey Games. Um, so I got Rampage World Tour for free. It's like a $40 game. And the rest I just kind of bought. Five bucks each. That Turok 2 is actually Mike's. So. And then that I got for five bucks. I got the, the figurines, cool little figurines here. Because I don't have enough room. <clears throat> I threw that in here, excuse the rest of the mess here, um, I threw that in here, so it's my 360 that I bought, I found a Value Village actually, um, I also have my 64 that Mike gave me and I bought a third party uh, yellow controller, um, which actually works great, so yeah, excuse the mess, but that's it there, only because I don't have room, I got a cool Wayne Gretzky poster here, worth quite a bit of money, it's actually not really technically mine. But uh, I borrowed it from father-in-law, so it's a nice little, nice little uh, picture there. Uh, this is my my gaming area, basically my 50-inch, uh, <clears throat> which isn't bad. And uh, my systems, my Xbox One, my PS4, obviously PS3, 360s in the like I showed you before. It's in the shelf. Uh, so this is where I sit and drink and play some games. Usually Friday night, I'm up pretty late, you know, in here. <clears throat> and we're going to want some more Nintendo stuff here. Uh, <clears throat> so start off with, I uh, got that at Value Village for $8. Which I play with the kids. The kids kind of like it, so we play a little bit. And I got my Nintendo DS stuff. Down there. So my uh, DS games, actually. My kids are mostly, it's mostly my kids' games. There's quite a few in there. Uh, 3DS. Uh, my, it's my daughter's collection. She's got two, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight games. Not bad, eh? For... Nine years old, and she keeps them in good shape, so that's good. And my Wii U stuff, which again is kind of shared with the kids. Um, nothing, nothing crazy here. We, we and Wii U. The Wii stuff, I just, I, there's not know what to do with it. We never play it, but uh, maybe one day. My obviously my Wii U case. I'd like to get a Switch eventually. I will get a Switch. Got some figurines there too. Um, eventually, I would like to get a Switch, but uh, you know, who knows what's going to happen? Oh yeah, and the guitar. <clears throat> the guitar is a really nice little looking guitar. For guitar Hero. It's for the Wii U, so not bad. For nine dollars, you can't really, or eight dollars. Sorry, I'm sorry. I got for nine dollars. Sorry, not a bad deal. And that's it. That's that's my whole game room basically. Nothing crazy. It's uh, kind of this is my studio, quote quote unquote, uh, where I do all the videos. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So uh, hopefully you enjoyed this small little game room tour. My next one hopefully will be quite a bit bigger. I'm hoping so. Let's hope that's the case. All right, guys. Uh, please subscribe, uh, like the video, comment. Please, I'd like to know. I'd like to see other game rooms. I love to see. I, I can't get enough of game rooms. I love. I love seeing it. So if you have one, please let me know about it. I'd love to watch it. So, um, anyways, other than that, guys, uh, I'm gonna have to let you go if I can find my phone. And that is yeah. And that'll be it. All right, guys. Take it easy.